In this video we're going to show you how to install the APP file. This is just a regular update. Shouldn't do too much with the car communication and radio. It's more so for the radio. Uh, we're going to be sending an email with a link to a Dropbox. And this is an example. You'll have two ways to download the file. Either on the download right here or the download up here. If we press download up here you'll have an option for direct download or save to my Dropbox. Press direct download. This is a pretty big file, 1.35 gigs. We recommend a flash drive that is uh, 32 gigabytes or less. This one is exactly 32, so anything less than this. It's going to take a couple minutes to install or to download, but where it will pop up is after it finishes downloading, you're going to press the arrow and press show in folder. After you press show in folder, it will open up the downloads folder, which is here, downloads. If you're not in this folder, you can actually, on the left side, scroll to here, downloads again. And right now it shows as unconfirmed because it's not ha it did not finish downloading. But we did download a previous one just so that we're ready here. So I am going to cancel this one, cancel and go back to my downloads folder from this icon and this is the same file that is on the Dropbox here. Once we've downloaded the file on our downloads folder from pressing the arrow and then show in folder so this is the file here we can open this up and it's gonna look weird but this is the folder uh, this is our only window that's open Let's open another window. We will go to the start menu at the bottom left. Hover over documents. Now that we have two windows open, on the left side we're going to go to downloads again. And we have downloads here, downloads here. We're going to open up the file here that we just downloaded. And we will drag these file contents onto the downloads folder. We are extracting the files in the zip and onto our downloads. We can close this window. And so inside the download, inside the file we downloaded, we have these files. And now that they're in a folder, let's right click it, open a new window. This is what is inside this folder. We're gonna move all these files onto the flash drive. So take your flash drive, 32 gigabytes or less plug it in. It should automatically pop up in the window as a window. If it does not, pretend it does not, we will go back to the start menu at the bottom left, hover over the downloads or documents. When this window pops up, we can go to this PC on the left side and find our flash drive right here, Samsung open that up and on this side of the window we have that folder open we will move all these files onto the flash drive to move all the files you just had to highlight them all and drag them onto here so we've already done that we're just waiting for this to complete After moving the files to the flash drive, Samsung, we can go to here on the left side, right click and eject the flash drive. Safe to remove hardware, we are going to disconnect it and go to our vehicle to plug it in.
Once plugged in, the radio should recognize the information and automatically run the update. We can now press start or cancel, otherwise it will do it itself and begin. Once the update has finished, if you disconnect the flash drive, the radio should reboot.